Welcome back to another episode of Mailbag, the video series where I buy modules, tools and components and show them to you for your own projects. It's been a while since my last episode, but I recently bought a bunch of new stuff for future projects. I'm working on some pretty cool stuff, such as the ultrasonic cutter, the MSLA printer and the new radio controller that would be even better. I also have a new toy in my workshop, which can literally blast through metal, so I bet that you will like it. That being said, let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like these ones that look so good? Then use the services of PCBWay. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want, including some exotic purple, or if you want, the matte black and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCB could be from 2 up to 14 layers for some more complex designs. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select the gold finish for your pads. The ordering process is so easy, just go to PCBWay.com, quote now, insert your design settings and the amount of PCBs, upload the Gerber files and order now and receive the PCBs in just a couple of days. What's up my friends, welcome back. The first thing I want to show you is this. And you must wonder, what is this? This is a very cheap 4-in-1 radio transmitter for radio controllers. And as you can see, inside of it, it has these four modules. So why do I need this? Well, because in the past I've made a bunch of radio controllers and the main problem was always the radio connection, the noise and the range. The NRF24 was a good solution, but it's still not the most secure connection and it has a bunch of noise. But this module for iRange X has all these protocols. And using the dial here, you can select the protocol that you want to use. I want to use the DSMX protocol, because it is very good against interface and has a very secure signal at 2.4 GHz. The good part is that this has a PPM input on the back. So I can still make an Arduino radio controller, but instead of using LoRa or the NRF24 module and send the signal, I pass a PPM signal to this and this can send multiple channels to any other commercial receiver like this ones here. And it will do that with a very reliable radio protocol. In this way I can make any custom made radio controller that I want. And remember that you have the links for any product of this mailbag in the description below if you also want it. The next thing I want to show you is this here. And this is a laser module for one of my new machines in the workshop. I can't show you the brand yet, because it's still not on the market, but I have it this month to test it out. And as you can see, it is a 70 watts laser diode, and it has a huge cooling system. I've assembled the CNC machine, but the best part is not the laser diode. The best part is this. This is a laser welder, and it has the power to literally melt metal. So this together with the CNC machine, it will make a perfect metal cutter, with very good precision. And don't worry, I will post a full test video about this machine in a few weeks, so please stay tuned for that. The next thing I want to show you is this new module that I received for a project. Remember that a few months ago I've made a Nixie tube watch. And I had a lot of problems generating the high voltage. And I wanted a very small generator, capable of creating more than 200 volts. And this is just that, an ultra tiny module that could output up to 300 volts, but as you can see it can fit on the tip of my finger. It has just a few millimeters, so it's perfect for the new Nixie watch version. Stay tuned for that as well. The next module I wanted to test is the so-called human detector. The LD2410 module is a highly sensitive human presence detection radar sensor working at 24 GHz millimeter waves. Unlike the traditional PIR sensors, which can only detect motion and temperature changes, this module uses Frequency Modulated Continuous Wave, or FMCW, a radar technology to detect human bodies, 
both moving and stationary, including some very subtle micro-movements, such as breathing, sitting or laying down. I want to start making some tests with it and bought one. If you think this is interesting, comment below, and if you also want to test it out, the links are in the description. Because remember, in this video series, I show you the new tools and modules, so you can know what you have on the market. The next thing I want to show you are these modules. And this is basically a wireless UART programmer that works at 2.4 GHz. And what do I mean by wireless? Well, as you know, to program the Arduino, for example, we use a USB cable. But in this case, one of these modules will be connected to the PC using a UART programmer, and the other module can be connected to the Arduino RX and TX pins. And like that we can program the Arduino wirelessly, without using a USB cable. And I have a few projects where that is very important. And not just that, but I also kind of hate having multiple USB cables around my PC anytime that I make tests with the microcontrollers. So I bought this wireless TTL programmer to test it out. Finally, I wanted to show you what I think is the smallest USB charger. This module is only 10 by 7 mm and it has a USB Type-C battery charger of 1S. It has the connector, a battery protection module on the back and two pads for connecting the battery. It has a constant current and voltage charging mode, automatic recharge activation and over voltage protection for 4.2 volts as any Lion or LiPo battery cell. It doesn't have current output protection, so have that in mind, but it is so small that it's good enough for some specific projects. Nice to have a few around. Oh, and by the way, here I have yet another battery charger that is very small. This is just a little bit bigger than the other one, but this one can go up to 2S. It has three output pads for connecting a 2S battery pack and balanced charging. It can charge up to 18 watts, 1.5 amps, and it can also accept 25 volts at the input. This could also work with a 3S battery pack, but in that mode there is no balance charging, because for that we would need 4 connections, not just 3. And I've also received some more stuff for some other projects, such as this very small GPS module, this ESP32 VGA testing board, which is interesting, these magnetic connectors, which can be very useful, this very cool transformer for making tests with the ultrasonic cutter, and a bunch of other stuff. But this episode is too long already, so I will show you more in the future episodes. I hope you now have a better idea of what modules or tools we have on the market, so you might have new ideas for your own projects. That's the main objective of this video series. If you like this video, comment below or give me a like, that will help me a lot. Thanks again and see you later guys. So guys, here I am in my workshop, another video that ended, I hope that you like it, and the most important part, I hope that you have learned something new. Anyway, I just wanted to give a thank you to all my patrons, to you guys, to the viewers who are supporting me, liking my content, uh, sharing it, commenting below, uh, just check my website, check my shop, check my t-shirts, all this kind of stuff will support my channel, so thank you very much once again.